Tom's River Show. Pat O'Meal, you're here. You are concerned Tom's River residents. That's why we do this show. If you need to get in touch with me, you got any show ideas, you got some consumer complaints. I'm really good with consumer complaints. Got all the information on the bottom of the screen there. Uh, you can reach me, and I'll be happy to help. If you got some tips, we'll take that too. Uh, we are on the eve of the uh, election. It's next Tuesday. Don't forget. If you got your ballot, it is time right now because I'm going to be doing endorsements. So you can take it out and you can get your blue pen, blue or black pen, and you can fill in the boxes there. Don't forget to fill it out and mail it. Uh, you know, all the debates are over. You probably heard all the uh, campaign literature now. That's why I was saying don't do it too early. But now, yeah, next Tuesday is the election. You can uh, mail it out. We'll be doing some. Well, wait until I do the endorsements. Then you can will. Um, we're going to talk about businesses this week in Tom's River. 7-Eleven is closing on Route 37 East by Fisher Boulevard. They just built the place a couple of three years ago. It is closing. You know, seeing a 7-Eleven close is kind of like, um, I think I said last week when I heard about it, it's like uh, seeing Bigfoot riding a, a unicorn. It just doesn't happen. It's like seeing a McDonald's close. These things don't happen. Why? Not enough traffic on Route 37. There's been an issue with vacancies on Route 37 since I opened this studio here in Seaside Heights. So this is going on, I guess, about five years now. Every location I looked at five years ago is still vacant today. Now there's just more vacancies. So we're going to talk about promoting Tom's River. We're going to talk about a $500,000 contract for an attorney in Tom's River on taxpayer dollars. And we'll do some quick hits, hopefully. We'll be right back. You know those times when you need to see the doctor, but you just can't get to the doctor? So where do you go? Go to the App Store, download the Telemed app from RWJ Barnabas Health, and you see the doctor right away from any mobile device, whenever you want, wherever you are. Quality care, no appointment necessary. The doctor is online when you download the Telemed app. Don't you feel better already? RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, Jersey City. Hudson County's only monument maker, serving all faiths and cemeteries. Design studio and launch inventory on site. Cemetery inscriptions and custom orders welcome. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, just south of Seacorkers Road. Craftsmanship that will last for all eternity. Burns Brothers, Jersey City, Albert H. Hopper, North Arlington. Visit us on the net. We're back. Pat O'Melia here, Tom River Show. You concerned, Tom River resident. Why well, I like talking to you because you're concerned. Um, this should be a major concern for you. Assemblyman McGuckin, who is also the head of the Tom River Legal Department, uh, recently won a court decision, I guess. Um, Assemblyman Roderick had accused McGuckin and Mo Hill and the council of uh, pay to play violations with uh, McGuckin, Assemblyman McGuckin, becoming the head of the Tom River Legal Department. Allegedly, at the tune of $500,000 a year. And uh, my buddy, Maria Maruka, had said, you know, it was a frivolous lawsuit, basically, uh, I'm paraphrasing here, and it will cost uh, the residents of Tom's River thousands of dollars defending it. Now, my question bees, how the hell is that possible? We have attorneys in Tom's River. We have a $500,000 a year attorney. How can it possibly cost the people of Tom's River additional money? defending Tom's River and the mayor and the council against pay-to-play. I don't understand it. Tom's River probably has the highest paid attorney in the state of New Jersey, highest paid tax-funded salary in the state of New Jersey at $500,000 a year. That should be concerning to people. I'm a Jersey City guy, as most people from Tom's River are. You know, the, the separation from the gene pool of Jersey City to Tom's River isn't much. Jersey City is a bigger Tom's River, very similar in issues. It's probably the largest city in the state of New Jersey after the census is done. And I'm really starting to question the census. We didn't do a good job 10 years ago. I think we've done a worse job this time. It has a $650 million a year budget. School system's budget is like $775 million a year. 
It has a humongous legal department in Jersey City. There's always something legally going on in Jersey City. And no one in the Jersey City legal department brings down $500,000 a year. I don't know what kind of legal problems Tom's River has where they have to have a $500,000 a year attorney. Now, Mo, during the campaign, I believe said he was going to reorganize the uh, legal department or outsource everything. Yeah, you don't want to outsource everything. You, you want to be able to control what happens. And the more you control when you have things in-house, the better it is, especially taxpayer-wise. And I believe what uh, Assemblyman McGuckin is the director of the legal department for Tom River. I believe the legal department is in place. And I believe the legal department that you pay for in Tom's River should have represented Tom's River versus this lawsuit. Now, the judge, uh, Maline, uh, Maline Lynch Ford, who I know I used to produce her show when she was the prosecutor for the county of Ocean. We used to do Ocean County at large. And Judge Ford was the host. Jersey City gal, by the way. Again, the, the gene pool from Tom's River, Ocean County to Jersey City isn't that far. You don't have to look too far. She made a decision that there was no violation of the pay-to-play uh, laws in place in Tom's River. That may be true. Legally, the amount of money that Assemblyman McGuckin had um, donated to the Mo Hill campaign and his council members, but there is something wrong. There is a question that needs to be answered as to why there's a $500,000 attorney uh, on the payroll in Tom's River. I, I, I can't get my head around that. A Tom's River that has laid off numerous hundreds uh, and furloughed hundreds of employees that they would have a $500,000 attorney on the payroll. I will venture to guess that the state of New Jersey doesn't have a $500,000 a year attorney on the payroll. Taxpayer, taxpayer funded payroll. I'm not saying some attorneys don't make 500 grand, but I don't think any are making it on the taxpayer of Tom's River, certainly again, Jersey City. You know, uh, you know the big city there, there's nobody banging down 500 grand. You know, Jake uh, Huddock, uh, you know, Jake's probably banging down about a buck 30 a year. And that's our, our prosecutor, uh, you know, our top attorney there in uh, uh, Jersey City. Uh, and we have our corp counsel, guaranteed, they ain't making no $500,000 a year in Jersey City. So Mo needs to answer, why the hell Assemblyman McGuckin, and I'm not even talking about his other jobs in Ocean County, why, what magic can he produce legally? that warrants $500,000. This guy's got to be the F. Lee Bailey of Tom Drew. He must have never have lost, because that is an outrageous amount of money. So next week, I will be looking for Mo Hill, and that will be our topic. Hopefully, I can get him in here, and we'll do the uh, interview like we did last week. But Tom's River, the residents of Tom's River deserve an answer as to why there's a $500,000 attorney on the payroll. I'm Pat O'Melia. You're watching the Tom's River Show. I'll be right back. Newport, the luxury waterfront community on the Hudson River, offers a quality of life you deserve in 10 high-rise rental towers with amenities such as the on-site Newport Path subway, light rail and ferry service, Newport Town Square, three playgrounds, dog run, upscale restaurants, retail giants like Sears, JCPenney, Macy's, and Target. Morton Williams Supermarket is just outside your front door. A health and fitness club, spa, skating rink, and medical facilities are also on site. NewportNJ.com Enjoy the New York skyline from Newport Town Square. Manhattan is just one path stop away or a quick ride through the Holland Tunnel. Nursery and private elementary schools all on site. 12 screen movie theater at the Newport Center Mall. Want to visit Newport? Stay at the Western or Marriott Hotel. Go to NewportNJ.com for details. Newport has luxurious towers, great restaurants, shopping, New York skyline views, schools, playgrounds, a marina and yacht club, gym, spa, fine wine, fine living. It's incredible. It's you. NewportNJ.com. Newport. Live like you want. We're back. Tom Dribber Show. Pat O'Melia here. You there? Remember Tom Dribber Show? It's every Saturday in Tom Dribber on Comcast Channel 190. And, of course, it's on YouTube. It's on Facebook. It's on Livestream.com. All that stuff should be on the bottom of the screen. Endorsement time. Let's go over a few things before we get into the endorsement. Big endorsement, of course, President. And I'm sure... 
Trump and Biden are on the edge of the chairs waiting for me to make my endorsement. For us, there's some questions on the ballot. And, you know, you pull out this ballot, you really got to look to find some of these questions. Uh, you got the uh, districting uh, question. Uh, should we uh, extend the time to uh, redistrict, redraw the districts here in New Jersey? I say no. The other one is legalizing marijuana, the weed vote. I don't have a problem with legalizing pot. I don't have a problem with decriminalizing small amounts of pot. You know, somebody's got, somebody's transporting five pounds of pot. You either got one hell of a pot addiction or you're selling it. Um, my problem with the, the weed bill is we're not dedicating the tax money from that to anything. And if there's one thing in New Jersey that we should get some sort of dedicated revenue flow to, is property taxes. You need some help. We are number one. And man, we don't want that foam finger number one for the property taxes. You know, it, if it moved, we're taxing it. You know, we used to be, uh, the fuel tax just went up. We used to be the, like one of the lowest. That was our one break we used to get. No, not anymore. Uh, that's up. If they were to dedicate the revenue, the tax revenue from the weed, to offset property taxes like we do with the lottery now. The lottery is dedicated to the pension uh, deficit. I'd go for it, but it's not. And it's just going to get zapped into the black hole, and your property taxes are still going to be crazy. So I'm going to vote no on that. Uh, and there's the veterans tax. You don't want to say no. I'm going to leave that up to you. The problem is, where do we stop? Uh, should we have the police get a, a tax, a uh, fireman get a tax, a uh, emergency room physician? Uh, I don't have a problem with the veterans tax, but you know, it, when we're giving a break to this person, somebody's got to make up that money. And that somebody, uh, by the way, is you. So that you can vote with your own conscience there. See, I just don't think it stops. Now, as for the endorsement, I'm going with the president of the United States, Donald Trump. Now, some people uh, have a problem with Donald Trump's personality. He's not a politician. He could use some better bedside manner. We in New Jersey knew Donald Trump before he ran for uh, president. You know, he was in New York. He was a New Jersey guy. He was the owner of the New Jersey Generals. He was, I had season tickets. I was there before Donald Trump bought the team. Uh, if you remember, as a giant ticket holder, as a general ticket holder, Donald Trump wanted to win. He spent money to win. You know, we had Brian Syke as our quarterback. He went out and got Flutie. Yeah, he went out and got Herschel Walker. The guy was spending money he wants to win. That's the same attitude he brings to the uh, the presidency. He wants to win. Is he uh, as smooth as JFK or uh, Obama was or Bill Clinton? I'm a Bill Clinton guy. I think he was a, a tremendous president, Bill Clinton. No, he's not smooth around the edges, but he's effective. I'm an economy guy. If the economy is doing well, everybody does well. From every level of employment to every race and creed and ethnicity, and religious belief, if the economy is doing well, everybody does well. Simple as that. And up until February of 2020, we were rolling. I mean, money was rolling. You, know, you weren't making collection calls. Everybody was working. There were four hire signs everywhere. There were help wanted signs everywhere. Business was doing good. Jobs were coming back to the United States. Things were working. We were percolating. We had unemployment numbers that had never been seen before. They were the lowest ever recorded. That's astonishing. New Jersey had low unemployment numbers, which is astonishing. He was successful with the economy. We will eventually get past COVID-19. You know, it's not the end of the world. It is not going to wipe out the human population. It's not the meteor to dinosaurs. We will get through this. And when we get through this, we're going to need our economy. Now, Biden, Biden's been around for 47 years in public service. You know, there's been issues with the laptop, the hard drive, and uh, making money on foreign uh, nations. Uh, I don't know if he can pull off the economy because the Obama economy is nothing like the Trump economy, that's for sure. It, is, it was really good under Donald Trump. 
I want to see that economy come back. You want to see that economy come back. But I'm going to come back after this message. You're watching The Tom Drummond Show. I'll be right back. Good Friend Self Storage in North Bergen, New Jersey is a fully climate controlled facility equipped with state of the art security, packing supplies, a refer friend program, and multiple loading docks convenient for commercial use. Located just off of Route 3 at 4301 Tunnelly Avenue, Route 1 and 9. Call 201 867 2444 or visit us on the web today. Good Friend Self Storage, let us be your good friend. Pena Pinto Properties, Jersey City. Shape in the workplace with state-of-the-art office spaces that address your company desires. Building residences that define your home environment, adjacent to all modes of transportation with on-site parking available. The right address, the right lease. Call 201-521-9000 or visit online at panapintoproperties.com. Pena Pinto Properties, building Jersey City for everyone. I'm back. Tom Rubin Show, Pat O'Melia here, talking about endorsing the President of the United States. The economy was great. Your 401s was great. Your stocks were great. Wall Street was great. I remember when they talked about Wall Street doing 10,000, 26, 2700,000 now. Energy. Biden's going to take down the oil industry. He's going to go wind and solar. I don't have a problem with renewable energies. Don't get me wrong. They have to be consistent and usable. You know, uh, and I have solar lights at home, at my kid's house, I should say. Uh, there's 10 different versions. And the, the better the solar light, the, the longer it works. If there's no sun that day, there's only solar lights for maybe an hour or so. That's the problem with solar energy. Solar energy takes up a huge amount of real estate. Wind, I have zero faith in wind. If it's not windy, we've got a problem. I think Donald Trump had one of the best lines talking about uh, wind energy. He was said, you know, he's asking his wife, uh, if we had wind energy, I could see how this would go. He was asking his wife, is it windy outside? I want to watch TV. I have like zero faith in wind energy. Uh, you'll have these props all over the ocean outside. And there is the thing with the birds, and that's legitimate. Everybody kind of nixes it off. Well, these things are killing birds left and right. Tell you what. If that natural gas-fired generated station was killing off birds every night, people would be complaining about it. That natural gas generating stations, even the coal stations now, they're not the big polluters they were in the 60s. It is a different world. They got scrubbers on their buffers. Are they perfect? No. But they are a hell of a lot better. And in the wide, whole global world, you know, China's developing their coal-generating uh, plants, yeah, there's a lot. India's doing the same thing. There's a lot of pollution going. There's a lot of polluters going around for everyone. I know oil, we worked hard to become sufficient energy-wise. We're not dependent on the Middle East. If you're of a certain age, remember the gas rationing and when the Middle East cut off our fuel? That's not going to happen anymore. We are self-sufficient. Same thing with natural gas. I don't have a problem with nuclear energy. You know, you want to build a nuclear plant? Fine with me. You want to talk about, you know, uh, clean? That's about as clean as it gets. We had that one issue with Three Mile Island. After that, there hasn't been any uh, nuclear issues. I know. I say, look at that. He's like a dinosaur talking about oil, natural gas, and nuclear. Guess what they all do? They work. And the other thing with solar and wind, it will drive up your energy prices astronomically. Look at California. See what energy prices are like. When that rate, probably not in my lifetime, maybe not in anybody's lifetime, will the renewables be able to run the country? I might be wrong, but I know it's not going to happen in my lifetime. Job creation. We were creating jobs left and right before COVID-19. Yeah, you know, people were begging to get help. That was how our economy was. And it's more important now than before. One of the things President Trump talked about is bringing jobs back from overseas. One thing we learned during COVID with the PPE, we couldn't get our PPE. You know why? Guess where it was being made? China. China had this, uh, the hold on it. PPE, um, um, prescription drugs, antibiotics, all in China. China. China had a choke hold on that. These things we need to bring back to the United States. Now, one of the problems with manufacturing in the United States as opposed to, to China, pay. You know, people work for, you know, 
change in China. That's not going to happen in the United States. So the government's going to have to get involved in that and make it worthwhile to do the manufacturing. Trump understands that. We need to understand that. Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, I don't think it works. Now, when I had the trailer shop, I'd have like 20, 30 employees. Um, we'd, we'd want to hire single guys because they were cheaper on the, uh, on the medical uh, coverage. It would be like $98 a month for a, for a single guy as opposed to a married guy with kids. I'm paying like $9,600 a year for health insurance, and I'm just me, just me on my pile. I'm the single guy, and that's what it's costing now. It has gone exponentially up since Obamacare. You know, it was a good idea, and it may work, but it needs to be massaged. There's a problem with the medical field. When hospitals are going broke and forcing mergers because uh, they can't make the ends meet, uh, practices are closing or merging because they can't make ends meet, and we have pharmaceuticals and the health insurance companies making boo bucks. I pay like $9,600 a year in health insurance. I had no claims outside of some prescription. Should I get some of that money back? The premiums you didn't make, there's no operations or anything, major surgeries. No, I don't get any of that back. That's how the insurance companies are raking in the bucks. Nothing happened, they get to keep the whole premium. Now, if you have a year with no uh, you know, claims, you should be able to get, some of the, get half the money back and they're still way ahead. But that doesn't work. That's why we need to do some reforming of the medical industry, and I don't think Obamacare is going to do that or Affordable Care Act. You're watching The Tom Brewer Show. I'll be right back. Do you know those times when you need to see the doctor, but you just can't get to the doctor? So where do you go? Go to the App Store, download the Telemed app from RWJ Barnabas Health, and you see the doctor right away from any mobile device, whenever you want, wherever you are. Quality care, no appointment necessary. The doctor is online when you download the Telemed app. Don't you feel better already? RWJ Barnabas Health. Consumer Carpets, 3408 Kennedy Boulevard in the Jersey City Heights, your one-stop store for residential and commercial floor treatments. Carpeting, linoleum, tiles, laminates, hardwood floors, area rugs, remnants, all major brands, all in stock. Free estimates, same-day installation. Consumer Carpets, it's savings, selection, installation. Credit cards and debit cards accepted. Financing available. Consumer Carpets, price to fit your budget, installation to fit your schedule. On the net at ConsumerCarpets.com. Consumer Carpets, Jersey City, 201-792-2712. The Jersey City Medical Center. You know it for its award-winning, life-saving ambulance service. It's also your health hub. With health and wellness locations staffed with certified professionals all through Hudson County. The Jersey City Medical Center. Here to help you with your healthy. Here when you need us the most. The Jersey City Medical Center. Visit us on the net to learn more. Jersey City Medical Center, Robert Wood Johnson, Barnabas Health Facility. Let's be healthy together. We're back. Pat O'Melia here, Tom River Show. So in closing on endorsements, uh, the, the, GO, the Ocean County GOP, I got no problem with that. I, all these guys have been great and gals have been great. They've served us well. My buddy Joe Picari is setting a record uh, as freeholder, which will be commissioners in 2021. I'm saying we stay the course and we will get past COVID. Speaking of COVID, as we try to get past this, I, we're, we're working on a new show in my other st uh, studio, Hudson Health, where we're going to promote uh, medicine, doctors you can see, doctors you can see tomorrow, uh, hospitals, new procedures, all that. We had a doctor in for a demo, and he is 100% certain there's going to be a second wave. Worse than the first, that's impossible, I believe, because we know how to deal with this. We know what we need to do. You need the social distance, you need to wear the mask, and eventually we'll get past this, and there'll be a vaccine. For that matter, I just got my flu shot uh, this past Friday at the Rite Aid on Route 37. I've been getting it there uh, basically on Columbus Day every year for years and years and years, but this, this year we're a week late. A lot of municipalities see the uptick going on. Hoboken, New Jersey is about to introduce a $1,000 uh, house party uh, fine if you're having too many people in your home for something. Uh, they're closing the bars and restaurants at midnight. Newark, non-essential businesses right now are closing at 8 p.m. with the exception of gas stations and uh, pharmacies. Uh, restaurants can serve outdoors and takeout, but uh, at 11 o'clock, they're going to close. Barbershops and salons can remain open by appointment only in Newark. Uh, gyms can remain open for a half hour, then they got to close for a half hour sanitizing. I don't know if that's going to happen in Tom's River. But we know how to deal with this. 
social distancing, wear the mask, wash your hand, and you'll get past this. Another thing, um, I just signed up for this. Uh, it's on the uh, Google Play Store. COVID alert NJ, it'll tell you on your smartphone if you're near somebody who had COVID. Um, doesn't hurt. You know, it, it, we need to make sure. Is there going to be a second wave? There's going to be upticks. We want to make sure it's nothing like the first wave, and I don't think it is. Uh, let me go to the creep file. This guy, uh, Tyler, down the river, rips off a blind elderly woman, opening uh, debit cards in her name, stealing the money. There is a special place in hell for people like Tyler, and I hope Tyler gets there. Um, as I said before, the 7-Eleven on Route 37 eastbound, right off Fisher, is closing. There is a business problem on Route 37. The closer you get to Seaside Heights, the more vacancies are apparent. You, you'll see them. Like I said in the opening, when I opened this studio like five years ago, every place I looked at besides here is still vacant today. So there is a problem. And it's long before COVID. And it's time we take some action to that. Before the COVID cloud claims more Tom River businesses, uh, we need to sit down and start truly promoting this. We're working on TR wheels here in the studio promoting automotive. Uh, we're, we're, we're trying everything we can to promote Tom's River. What we need to do, we need to sit down with Mo Hill in Tom's River and Tony Vaz in Seaside Heights, our biggest attraction in Tom's River is Seaside Heights. That's going to bring people down Route 37. The more people we got coming down Route 37, the better it is for all the businesses. And we also need to remind people in Tom's River that these businesses are here before we lose more businesses. And it's not just the business. It's the jobs. It's the revenues. And those jobs on Route 37, they're great entry-level jobs. There's long-term jobs there. It's the whole gambit of employment on Route 37. We need to promote that. We need to promote it jointly. The Tom River and Seaside Heights, because that's the big pull. We get Seaside Heights cranking the way it should be. That's 4 million people a year plus coming down Route 37 or Route 35. But mostly Route 37, they're taking a parkway. That's our attraction. We promote that jointly with Tom's River, and we all will do better. But if you can patronize the businesses on Route 37, especially with cars. You got winter coming? I got my car right now at... Coast transmission and performance. With Big Al, I'm getting a transmission filter done on the Jeep and new fluids and then latch on the hood. Now, when I'm down at Tom River in Seaside, I use Al. When I'm up in uh, Jersey City, I use Goya. Get your cars done. Get it winterized. Go see Al. Go see any of those automotive guys in AAA. If you're a AAA member, AAA on 37 has a garage there. Get your cars done. Ride down Route 37, come close far down towards Seaside Heights and see what businesses are there. Try to patronize them. For that matter, the liquor store moved from um, 166 all the way down here on Seaside Heights. Uh, that's the goal of this studio. It's to promote Tom River, promote their businesses, create jobs, save jobs, and make uh, you know, your shopping that much better. Again, go get your car winterized. Any of the places on Route 37. But Al's uh, East Coast... Uh, Coast Transmission and Performance or the AAA guy. But there's a lot of places. I'm out of show. I'm out of time. You be good. You be safe. I'll talk to you next week. Good night.